In the beginning, God created man. He created man to be like him. God is spirit. So he created man a spiritual being just like himself. Because man was to exist in the physical realm, he would need a body. God created man's body from the physical elements of the earth. The body of man was designed to heal itself and live forever. Now that man had a body, he needed to establish an interface for which this spiritual being would control this earthly body. God created the soul of man to be that interface. He created the soul to have three parts, mind, will, and emotion. The soul was designed to receive instruction from the spirit and in turn, give instruction to the body. In those days, God spoke directly with man through his spirit. God created man to live forever and rule in paradise. When man rebelled against God, sin entered in and killed his spirit. When man's spirit died, his soul was darkened, which eventually gave death to his body. Man's sin not only affected mankind, but also affected the physical earth and all the life on it. Sin corrupted the plant life and produced thorns, weeds, and poisonous substances. Life at a cellular level was also corrupted, producing viruses, diseases, and various mutations. The earth itself was corrupted and produced earthquakes, tornadoes, and tsunamis. The animals even turned against each other for food. Every generation of man born after that would be born with a deadened spirit. This condition is called the sin nature. Because of this sin nature, every man born would eventually die in his body, and his soul would be eternally lost. God loved man so much that he wanted to correct the problem. So God created a second man, a new man, just like the first one. But in this one, he would put his own spirit, the Holy Spirit, inside. This plan worked and this new man lived a perfect life without sinning once. Even when his physical body was killed, his alive spirit gave life to the rest of his body, and he was resurrected from the dead and received even a more advanced body than the first. This new man gave the right for any man to receive this new nature by allowing the Holy Spirit to take residence. This is the source of all healing from sickness and disease. The born-again spirit starts to affect every area of the soul starting to transform the thinking patterns of the mind and the decision-making of the will to conform to the Spirit of God, which is truth and love. The born-again spirit cannot be bought, transferred, or given by man. It only comes from God through the only one who's qualified to give it. The only one qualified to give it is the only one begotten of God who appeared in the flesh for all mankind to see. This new man says to all of us, I am the truth, the way, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but through me. Believe me and be saved. This is eternal life. This is the new nature.